Why is your leg gone? Okay, now can you please lay on this bed while I operate on your body? Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing Maple Hospital. I am a doctor. Okay, let me put my fancy doctor uniform on. Okay, this one, ooh, look at how professional I look. Okay, so this one or this one, but isn't that a nurse one? I don't know, let's find this one. This one, it's got the fancy coat, it could be cold. Okay, let's go outside and, oh, 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 hang on, you gotta wear a mask. It's not really COVID times that much anymore, but you gotta be safe because it's a hospital. Okay, let's grab a clipboard. Okay, hmm, well, who is on my patient list today? I should be expecting a visitor from Mr. Shrizel. Okay, he should be in here anytime. Oh, hello, patient. It's so nice to see you. What can I do for you today? What's wrong with you? Um, I've got hurt. Okay, can you please describe this hurt more detailing, please? Please, uh, please list your hurt and I will write them in my very sophisticated clipboard. So what's wrong with you? I fell off the stairs. You fell off the stairs, you clumsy rat. You, no, no, okay, patient fell off the stairs. And where does it hurt? After I fell down, I think my... My arm was first, and then I broke it. So you broke. So you fell down the stairs, and you broke your arm. Broke my arm and my left leg and my right leg. So you're just destroyed. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. Patient fell and broke. What did you break? Sorry. I broke my. Broke my, his. My leg. Leg. And my. And. And my left and right arms. And both. Um, okay, which leg in specifically? What what leg? My left leg. Your left leg. Okay. <coughs> so that is fine. Um, you can um, just I will. Okay, since you since you cannot move, I will put you in this wheelchair and we will examine you. It's a good thing you are alive and breathing, so you can talk to me. Get in my wheelchair. Thank you. Oh, you're 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 a you're a big boy, aren't you? You're so tall, you're so fat, you just won't fit in my chair. Right, okay. So, um, okay, so now the wheelchair is flying, and we shall now take you to the emergency rooms, which is on floor one. Okay, so we just need to find, okay. Oh, this is the first floor, okay, okay, okay. So where's the, okay, so this is the MRI room, the exam room, the, again, exam room. X-ray room, okay, okay, okay. I think we need to get an X-ray of you first. Oh, wait, this is the emergency. Okay, so I want to an emergency since you're already, since you're alive. Okay, so can you please get off and get in my wheelchair, please? Okay. Oh, okay, yes, um, you're a bit broken, I know. Can you please get on the thing you would do, Dad, please? Can you please get on the bed? Thank you. Okay, now I shall examine you. I need to wear my gloves. If you look at my fancy blue gloves, and need to wear some hand sanitizer, which means no sense of put my gloves on. But you know it's fine. Oh. Um. So now we shall scan you. So please remain calm, sir. You shall be fine. Uh, we need to turn the light off for this because it will be emitting lots of big, big, juicy rays. What? Yes, some, some very big rays. Okay, activate. Here we go. Da -na 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 -na. And he said, you will be fine, do not worry. Stop it! You're fine. Okay, let's see what's wrong with you. Is, is it done? Is it done? Oh, okay, okay. So, um, what's this? Is it meant to show the picture or something? Oh, it's not done yet, is it? It's done, okay. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary, okay. So now, uh, ooh, what can I see from this very, very, very visible picture? Um, yes, you have broken both your arms and your left leg. Yeah, yes, it has three parts, which means you've broken three of your body parts. Okay, thank you. Please get in my wheelchair now. We will take you to the... So we now know that you have broken your arm we shall, and your leg and your other arm. We shall now take you to... Ooh, emergency codes. Blue is a medical emergency, cardiac arrest is an example, okay. Brown is a chemical spill, hazardous material. Red is a fire emergency, yellow is a missing missing patient, goodness. 
why is a violent patient purpose medical emergency other than a cardiac arrest okay so like so blue is like very emergency e like um oh yeah okay this is the emergency board okay uh, the ER, the ER, okay, how exactly am I supposed to fix his bones? Um, I guess that means we need to take him to a surgical theatre. Let me just see what floor that is on. Okay, let's try to act really professional. Was that you? What? You know what, it's fine, it's fine. You know what, that, that wasn't me, okay. Um, in exam room, imaging rooms. Well, actually, we do need an image of your arm so we can... Operation room, long-term care. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess you've already been in the imaging room. Oh yeah, because x-ray does count as an imaging. Okay, so we'll go to the operation room, which is on floor two. Ding the bell. Ding the, ding the, ding, ding the bell. Uh, second floor, okay. In the elevator, don't worry, patient, you're gonna be fine. <sighs> you're gonna be fine, are you okay? Can you breathe, are you okay? I can breathe and I can live here. Yes, okay, you're good, okay. So now I'm gonna need you to okay first we need to get you changed don't we do that into the professional surgical uniform right i feel yep you know what we can't find any fancy uniform so you'll be fine okay surgery room okay now can you please lay on this bed while i operate on your body thank you very much lay down there we go okay now uh i need to make sure that this is all okay light is on good good okay now i just need okay so can you sleep properly please yes. i mean sleep as in like like oh. lay flat on your back thank you very much i appreciate it right now okay you're not having a cardiac arrest or having an oxygen depletion you're fine um okay so now i've got my handy gloves on <laughs> got my handy what are you laughing are you just you're fine lay on your back please oh i'm gonna break <laughs> more of your bones okay so now uh, got our handy dandy gloves on, we've got our goggles on, so I don't get your bone bits in my eyes. Um, okay, so now I need to use surgery lights, there you go. Okay, surgery. Please get on your front, what are you oh, doing? Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, now stay there before I do it. work on you, seriously, seriously, stay there. Okay, uh, now what about this light and this light? I can use secondary light and... Use IV. I don't need IV. Okay, you want, uh, you need IV. Okay, so now we're going to open this thing. And uh, okay, so what do we need to put in you? Well, since we're operating on your bones, I guess it makes sense to put blood in them because your blood is actually formed in your veins. That's saline solution. I'm not sure what this yellow thing is, but or is it to collect the liquid? I'm not sure, but using my medical knowledge so far, I'm going to guess that you don't really need an IV line as of now. But we will put it on you when you need it. Um, it's so, Let me click the fluid. No, okay, you, you don't know. It's fine. You don't need the... No, okay. Oh, yeah, you don't need oxygen. You can still breathe. No, you don't need the IV. Okay. So, sorry, tool. Okay, so now I'm... Just, okay, so now I'm going to give you uh, anesthetic. We're just going to put you to sleep, okay? Okay. Okay, pretend this isn't... Is there like an anesthetic table or something? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You're the patient. Okay. So, what's up here? Uh, is there any surgical... Okay, observation dome. Oh, that's just... Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, so there is... Okay, so now I'll just pretend that this oxygen mask is an anesthetic thingy. Mm -hmm. And what this will do is it will slowly put you to sleep and numb your body so you can't feel anything, okay? So, yep, in three, two, one, boom, you're up. You are now asleep, knocked out. You can't feel any. I, I can do whatever I want to and you would not feel a thing. Okay, so let's check your vials so far, your vitals, your, your heart rate is fine. It's very, very fine. Oh, 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 yep, yep, you're, you're alive, you're fine. Um, good, good, oxygen flow, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so now we need to set up our surgical tools. Okay, so now we need to actually, okay, so what should we do? Okay, so we're going to have to cut up his skin first. So, let me see, can, I, can I please get this? This knife thing. Can I please hold the knife? Please, may I hold the knife? Can I hold the? Oh, okay. I just want to hold. The... Oh wait, 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 isn't that like an inventory? There we go. Tool. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
can I use? Um, okay, we've got an IV thingy there. Um, water, food. Oh, actually, I'm with you. You could have used that ages ago. That's fine. Okay. Oh, a knife. And your the bone iPad thing. Uh, this thing, a stethoscope, the bone unpicker, what nothing you would do to some plasters. And bandages you've already got. That's a. Uh, no, I think we're fine. Okay, you know what? Let's make this a lot more complicated, okay? Oh, look at that. It's that COVID test. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, okay. That's fine. We don't need anything else. Um, okay, so now we're going to operate on your bones, okay? But actually, no, I feel like we do. We just got to get this just to be more dramatic. Oh no, one of my things are gone. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll just get everything that we actually need first, okay? So, two, okay. This is a very intense moment, okay? So now I'm going to cut your skin just so I can just... Okay, so he's broken his left arm and his left leg. And, uh, yeah, left leg, left arm, and right arm. So we're just going to open his arm. I'm going to push it on. Shift, shift. Is there a shift lock? There is. Okay. okay. We're going to just you know, cut, cut, cut. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, we've made an incision. Now we're going to get the. No, okay. Okay, now we're gonna have a pick around with his bones and see which one is actually broken. Okay, mm -hmm. as you can very clearly see. Hang on. Um, oh, no, no, wrong button. Um, where's the bone thingy? Okay. So this machine will tell us exactly where his bones are broken, which is in this thing. Well, wow, so gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna click it. And oh, he definitely does not have a missing. Oh, oh, oh no, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. My skull is fine, okay. Yeah, as you can see, we're using his handheld x-ray machine thingy, my dude, dad. Uh, you can see he's got a broken bone on his left arm, right in the middle of this big, large bone in between the elbow, no, where your elbow is. No, actually, it's gonna be where your. Okay, if you if you if you were to fall down a stairs, I'm sure you you'd break your forearm. So yeah, you broke your forearm over here. Yeah, look at that. That is a very obvious cut. So what we're gonna do is we're, is we're gonna get a blood sample of your blood, and get it so we know that maybe if you have infected your blood on the way to breaking your bones. Okay, so I've got I've got your blood sample. Okay, now we're just gonna rearrange your bones. So just so. Just gonna like put them close together so they're like nice and fixed, okay? Uh, fix, 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 fix. Almost done. Just had to rearrange this little tiny shard. Oh, and we need to remove some as well because we're gonna remove the like the tiny fragments of bone which are missing because I thought that would really hurt him, wouldn't it? So we're gonna take this out and put them here. Take this out and put it here. Take it out and put it here. Okay. Is he, still, is he still unconscious? Yep, he's unconscious. Okay, so now the bone is is slightly more held together. So now we're gonna use a. Uh, I'm not sure if they do. Do they do triangular bone bandage? Okay, so there's no arm thing. Arm bandage, loopy loopy. What's it called? Arm band. Oh, is that no? That's a cup. Okay, that's fine. We'll just get we'll just get uh, the plaster then and just pretend that that's a bandage. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna agree to put a pl uh, pretend that this is like a, a thing. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a uh, what's it called? A cast. A cast. So this is a cast. Right? Okay, I've casted you up. You're you're on cast. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna go over to the other side and fix this arm. So we've got your kind of cut, make an incision. Oh, is that a cast? Oh, thank you. Okay. So pretend that this cast is not there. Okay, cut, 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 cut. Remove the bone fragment. No, nope. bone, bone fragments. I put this here. Put this one here. Put this one here. And put this one over here. Okay. Now we are going to um see where exactly where the big cut is. Yes, you can tell it's over here, right in his uh forearm again, which is uh, well obviously we're gonna have more than one of those hardly. 
So we're gonna just rearrange this bone so it's more closer to each other. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put a plaster on it. Good job. Plastered up, boy, you're plastered up. Now his arms are done, we're just gonna have a look at his left leg, which is this leg over here. I've got a stand on the table, just, okay. So, okay, now I know this is very unsafe, do not do this if you're a doctor, I'm not a doctor. Um, so we're going to get the scaffold and make an incision in your leg lip, just like that. Ooh, emotes, okay. Uh, I'm going to make a, is that like a, like a cutting emote? That's fine, okay. So we're just gonna make a little an incision in the in skin. So make an incision. There we go. Now we're gonna see where the damage is done. Oh my goodness, you've broken your lower leg thing. Um Yeah, what wait, you've broken your your shin, yeah, you've broken your shin, yeah. Oh dear, it looks like you've broken your shin. Do not fear, doctor. Wonder is here. I will work my wondrous magic on you. Okay, so we shall work our magic. We are now going to get this uh, big thing and just uh, rearrange. No, okay, we're gonna remove the tiny fragments of loose bones so that they do not cause you any more harm with my fancy tweezer thingies. Do do right there. Do 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 right there. Okay, and now we are going to. Push a bunch close together and then put a plaster. Real plaster. Wrong leg. Wrong leg. Wrong leg. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Thank you. And now we are done. Now he is going to, we're going to let him rest a bit and then we'll take him to the recovery room. Whew. All in a day's work of being a doctor, surgeon, thingy do dad. Okay, let's check his vitals. Is he still okay? Uh, yeah, he's fine. Seems to be okay. What's this? A meteor? Huh? <laughs> Stop. Huh? Oh my gosh. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. What's this? Edit whiteboard. Submit. So this is my patient, Shrizel. He was in this ward right now. Okay, his, um, okay, so now we're gonna try to, okay, so, get down, get down, get down, okay, so, now, we are going to let him rest for a bit, okay, so we'll take off the anesthetic mask for now, and then he'll slowly, okay, we'll just let him rest for a bit, and then we'll, sl and then he'll slowly wake up, and then we'll take him to the recovery room, so I don't know, what is this, is that a grenade? Oh wait, oh it's the, it's the, it's the oxygen thing. Okay, ooh, look at this room. Ooh, level 20, thank you. Oh, a surgeon, well, I just did surgery, thank you. Yay, I got my surgery degree. I got my degree in surgical arts, thank you, my doodad. Woohoo, I'm a surgeon. Okay. Ooh, an AED, a defibrillator. He is not having a heart attack, so we do not need to, or cardiac arrest. Wait, which one, which one do you need a thing to do for? Cardiac arrest, there you go. But it's caused by an, an electrical malfunction of your heart. Okay, now we'll just slowly let him wake up, and until then we will get all of our Thingy do dads to off and wash our hands because they've got skanky um, blood on them. Let's take our goggles off and mask. No, actually, we'll wear, keep our mask, I'm gonna switch mask it. Throw that one away, new one on, wash our hands because they might have like blood and stuff on them. Because even though the glove is like, even though like surgical gloves are good, it's still gonna be like bad. But yeah, okay, wash, 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 wash our hands. There we go, all done. Now we're gonna put a new pair of gloves. Actually, we don't need gloves to transport the bed, do we? Okay, I'm gonna go find a bed. You know those rolly beds that you can just like roll. Post anesthesia. Oh yeah, this is where we put him. So because we, because since he's been under anesthetic treatment, we're gonna put him here, where he can recover. Um, is there like a bed here? Like you know those beds where you see people like being transported on if they've like been sick or have like a major surgery. Do they have them here? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, a little cafe. Um. 
patient room. Okay, they can have a, they can have uh, their room for themselves because it is going to take them a long time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put them in a wheelchair. It's fine. Oh, I don't want a vending machine. Okay, now let's see if they have woken up yet. They can take their time, but let's just see if they have woken up. I look, the red light is on, meaning that the surgery is in process. Hello, excuse me, are you awake? Oh. oh. Are you okay? Oh. You good? Hello? <laughs> are you awake? <laughs> are you awake? Yes. Hello? Yes, I am. <laughs> don't do that. Seriously, guys, don't do that. That was a joke. Don't do that. But hello, sir, are you awake? Yes. Yes, yes. you're awake. How are you feeling? I feel a bit hurting. Yes, you, you're hurting. Okay, that's okay because you've just had a big fat surgery. So what I'm going to do now is, now that your bones are fixed, it's going to hurt for a little while. But we'll give you some medicine and you'll, you'll feel better. So we're going to keep you in here for like one, two days. Okay. But first I'm going to find a wheelchair for you, okay? A wheelchair, 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 wheelchair. Okay, we do not need to put him in long-term care, he's fine. What's that? Oh, where's my, where's my... Let's just get all of the tools that we're not using now. Oh, we need, we need a blood sample. Boom. Okay, wheelchair. We're gonna get this handy dandy wheelchair and take our little man to get... Can you please get in the wheelchair, sir? Okay. There we go. And now we're going to put you in your very own room. Isn't that nice? But well, first, we're going to put you in post anesthetic care because you've just been through Anastasia, which is going to be a little bit icky. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Now, can you sleep? Okay. Uh, okay, there you go. Now, uh, no, wrong, wrong way. That one, that one. This one. Okay. This one. Um, this one. Can how you... can I walk? Uh, ugh, get back in. Now go, sleep. Okay. How are you walking? You sleep. Okay, okay. there we go. <sighs> so look, this is your blood, okay? You see it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that in real life, guys. Um, well, I'm not that really good. Um, okay, we're just gonna check your blood for infection, just in case you might have gotten some, uh, oh, we're gonna put you on IV. We're gonna put you on IV. Can, you put, can we put you on IV? Use IV, okay. We're going to put some saline solution in you, yeah? Okay. Over here, over here. Get, get in there. Get in there. Get, put the IV in. In your arm. It goes in your arm. There. The IV line goes in your arm, right there. There. Oh, you know what? Okay, so pretend you got IV in, it's fine. So now we're going to check your blood for samples. I'll be right back. If you need me, just yell, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, so now let's see where the pathology room is. That's the room where we check for infections and stuff. Just gotta see which floor is on what. Okay. Laboratory, morgue, emergency room, imaging room, exam room, PACU, long term care operation room, maternity ward. Okay. Laboratory, we need to go down to the basement. Okay, I'm going to tell him that this is what I am doing because then he will be scared. Okay, patient, hello, Shrizo. I am your doctor, remember? Yes, I, like, I see you like your new colourful casts. So, um, I'm going to test your blood for infection, so it's a good, so it would be nice if you just get got some rest, okay? Yes? Okay, so good night. Not good night, well, good, good, good rest. I hope you rest well. Uh, yes, now bye-bye. So now we're going to go to the laboratory to test this guy's blood to see if there's any infection. Because when you get hurt, sometimes through when you get hurt, you know when you like lose a bit of skin when you get hurt, some germs can get in there and that can be really bad for you. So we're going to see... Oh, why is it so dark? Should we... Okay. Right. Uh, elevator access. We don't need... No, we don't need the elevator access. Okay. Hand sanitizer. Uh, that's a Bunsen burner. Okay. Uh, we need we need gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. It's a really unkept laboratory. Um, I'm not sure why a patient would be in a laboratory unless they're a test subject, but okay. Oh, gloves. Can I, can I put the gloves on, please? Can I, can I put the gloves on? Clearly not, okay. Oh, look at this bumblebee shaped thing. What's an autopsy? 
what's up? Oh, isn't it the one? Oh, okay. Um, hemoglobin helps. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, hemoglobin is there's a part of your blood which actually stores your oxygen. Yes. Um, okay. So I'm gonna sit down here and do some very scientific stuff. So I'm gonna sit here and get your blood sample. Blood sample. Okay. And we're gonna put it under this microscope. Coaching. There we go. And we'll check for infection on this screen. If I can click on the screen. You know what? You know what? Okay, well, let's look into the thing we do that. Okay, so inside the microscope, we do not see any infection. Let's see if there's like a diagram what we can see. Oh, whoops, you don't put it in there. You put it in the blood sample testing thing. Whoops, okay. Get the blood, put it in the analyzed blood sample. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, his hemoglobin, 14. Okay, that's fine, I think. 60% is, I'm going to guess that's bad. Uh, sodium. Okay, that's fine. Okay, white blood cells. You've got 4,000 blood cells. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's look through that again because I did not see that. Okay, I'm just going to get that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Uh, it's all good. The thing is, though, he only needs to worry about... Wait, what does he need to worry about? Hang on. No, not all wiggles. I'm not going to test all wiggles around. Okay, we're going to test his blood sample. Okay, let's see what it says. Okay, your whatever this is is fine, I think. Uh, your hemoglobin is down. Okay. Uh, whatever this is is 60%. That's also bad, I believe. Whatever this is is also bad. Okay, that's fine. You've got 4,000 white blood cells. That's fine. Okay, only thing you need to worry about is getting some of that good oxygen. So we're going to... Uh, this is a really detailed game for Roblox, I cannot lie, it's amazing. Okay, uh, so we're going to go on to the second floor, which is where we've stored our patient. Uh, surgery, no, we put him in the post-anesthesia care unit. Okay. Oh. Hi, are you, why is your leg gone? Hi, are you, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so we've analyzed your blood sample and apparently everything is almost fine. Yeah. Uh, you just need a bit more oxygen, so... Yeah, have some oxygen. Um, and we need to put some on some IV as well, get some of that good salty water in you. Yep. Okay. okay. And then you will be fine. See, so your heart rate is normal. And how do you feel? How is your broken arm and leg feeling? I feel fine. You feel fine? Okay, can you can you move it? Can you try to move it? Um, can you move it? No. No? Okay. Um, well, obviously, it's been only been one day. Um, oh, my God. But... But yes, uh, you are fine. So we'll let you sleep. So we'll take you downstairs to the patient recovery room where you can have your own room. And yes, so get in. <laughs> get in. Request to put in. Okay. So now we're going to give you your very own room to rest up so you can actually like be nice and rested so you feel nice and fresh and you feel a bit better. Now we're not going to... Look, it doesn't even a little gift shop so if you want any gifts. Okay. Uh, we don't need you in long term care, do we? We'll just put, okay. Okay. We're all good to put you downstairs. There, there's a patient recovery room downstairs while we will get you quicker to leave. Um, oh, it's elevated there. Okay. First floor. So I'll put you in, in the patient room where you can rest up. And that will be it. You will rest up and then we'll send you home. We'll send you home all nice and fixed. Things where are we are going to have to send you home with a cast on because obviously your bone would not take that quickly to heal, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, you sound so tired. You're tired? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a. Oh, this is recovery, okay. So I'll put you in the recovery room. Okay, can you please. Yeah. Can we draw the blinds? Can't draw the blinds. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, there you are. We're just gonna. Oh, look at this stuff. What's this? Okay, we're gonna test your blood pressure as well. But well, not mine. Well, I'm, I'm I'm fine. Thank you very much. I'm the doctor. I'm fine. Um. 
you know what? Yeah, it's fine. You hit the blood pressure. Emergency. Ooh. Oh. So now we're gonna wait until you're all rested up. But for now, let's go ahead and explore the rest of this hospital because why not? And by the time that that time. The patient will be nicely rested up. <gasps> a chemical spill or whatever that is. That looks gross. I guess now that I've seen it and witnessed, I have to clean it up myself, don't I? <laughs> right. A chainsaw? No. Um. Oh, we're gonna we gotta put a sign. Lipstick. Why would you need lipstick at our hospital? Um. Mouse trap. Okay, caution wet floor. Yep. Okay. All we really need now is a caution wet floor. I guess that would be caution wet floor. Caution wet floor. There's a wet floor here, guys. Wet ah, wet floor. Wet floor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, there's a wet floor. Okay. Uh, can can we clean it up? Can I please clean it up? I guess. Can I? Ooh, crab candy. Oh, we'll give him some candy as well, since his blood sugar might be a bit low after all of that. Tiring, tiring. Use the mop to clean up spills for XP, but where is the mop? I can't really seem to find the mop though, can I? Okay, work. Okay, where is this? Oh, there's the patient's bed I was talking about. Look at this inhaler, it's all some ice. It's the eye drops. Oh, there's the defibrillator. Oh, mop! Um, moppy, moppy, mop, mop. Okay, moppy, moppy. We're gonna do some mopping and it's disappeared. Has it cleaned up by itself? I just got my mop. Has it dissolved into the floor? If it has, that is gross. Uh, okay, hi, you're so sleepy. Okay. Well, I guess there are those just to clean. That's fine. I guess it's still my job for me. Okay, Emma, let's go surprise our person with some sweets. Hi, are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel fine now. You feel fine? Okay, well, since you've been such a brave boy this entire time, we're gonna give you a first let me give you a blood chair. Hang on. Stay right there. Well, well, I guess you pretty much can't move, but obviously. So what are we gonna, oh, hang on, you can't hear me. Let's just get our wheelchair. Okay, we've got our wheelchair now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him the candy and send him home so he has to have a wheelchair because he obviously would not be able to move. And then a few days later, he can remove the cast. Okay, so Shrizzle, here's the thing. So your bones are not healed fully yet, which is why we're gonna give you this wheelchair where you have to sit in it and move around like that because obviously it would hurt and it would damage your bones a lot more if you were to be more active. So you have to get in this wheelchair and yes, and then you can come back a few days later or just take the cast off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, um, uh, okay. Um, okay, uh, yeah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, forget that happened. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? I'll meet you at the entrance again. What happened? That was crazy. Um, okay, well, I guess the bed didn't like him. <laughs> Uh, okay, you know what? Um, pretend I took him out. Okay, pretend. Okay, get in, 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 get in. Get in. Is there a request? I did. I can't. Can't it? I can't. Do it again. I... <laughs> okay. E. Put your casts on. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's the plan. So, you. So we're gonna send you home now, okay? So that's because to sign your name out. And you are all done. There you go. You are now all casted up. Yep, and this, that I'm casted up. And we're gonna send you home and then you can take your cast off after, um, after maybe like three months, I think. I don't know what the time. And the time is for like the average bone healing process, but you will be nice. Oh, and I got you some free candy. Oh, okay, uh, pretend you're using I got you some candy. Here you go, have some candy. You're welcome. And now we shall put you. Now, 
Look at you. Yes. You've exited the hospital nicely and healthily. Woohoo! Oh, 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 o